हेलो एवरीवन टुडे जस्ट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग अ रियल क्वेश्चन व्हिच वर्ड जनरली आस्क इन द प्लेसमेंट इंटरव्यूज प्लेसमेंट इंटरव्यू व्हिच क्वेश्चंस आर आस्क सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी एप्टीट्यूड प्लेसमेंट क्वेश्चन आर दीज क्वेश्चंस आर टोटली रियल क्वेश्चन व्हिच वर्ड जनरली आस्क इन द प्लेसमेंट इंटरव्यूज ओके सो दिस इज द सी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू द सेट वर्ड ओके so we will start this series today and after a daily there is a set one set two set three for this series so just to see which type of questions were asked this is the first question a sum of rupee 2 387 is divided into three parts in such a way that one fifth of the first part that is one fifth of the first part and one half of the second part and one fourth of the third part are equal find the sum of the five times of the first part yani five times of the first part three times the second part and four times the third part you have to find so for this type of question very simple math what is the simple math is suppose we got to give it three parts so suppose the parts are x y z Okay, so one fifth of the first part means one fifth means what? That is x upon five. Suppose one part that is the one part is the one fifth. So you can say it is dividing the three part in such a way that one fifth of the first part. So first part is x. So one fifth is what? X by five. And one half of the second part. If second part is y, then one half is y. Y by two. And this is equal to the one fourth part of the third. So suppose third is z, so this is four. So again, question is what? The one fifth of the first part that is x by five, and one half of the second part that is y by two, and one fourth part of the third. So that is z by four. Okay. So are equal. So this is equal. So equal means suppose this is equal to the k. So what is the value of x? X will be 5k, and what is the value of y? Y will be 2k, and what will be the z? Z will be 4k. Okay. So now we have x by the order. Now it is given is sum of all the three parts. So sum of all three parts means it is given x plus y plus z it is what? 2, 3, 8, 7. Now x is what? That is 5k. Y is what? That is 2k. And here is what? That is 4k. And it is given 2387. Okay. So 5 plus 2 7 plus 4 11. So this is 11k is given 2387. So k equal to what? 2387 by 11. So 11 to the 22. Now there is a one. So 80. Eleven by eleven, now seven. This is two one seven. Now we have to find what sum of the five times of the first part. So this is first part is x. So we have to find x. Okay. So five x plus again it is given three times the second part. So this is what three y. Again it is given four times the third part. So that is third part is z. So that is four times the and four times the third part. So this is four z. Okay. So you know x is what five k. So this is five into five k. Again this is three. Y is what that is two k. So this is two k. Again four into z is what four k. So this is four k. So we have five part is twenty five k. Three to just six k, and this is sixteen. Now all in case we will add six six twelve twelve five seventeen. Carry one 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 two and two four. So this is what forty seven k. Okay. So six plus six twelve twelve plus five seventeen. We have carry one 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 two and two forty seven k. This is forty seven into no no k two one seven. So this is two one seven. If we go for multiplication, we will get seven seven zero forty nine. So forty nine is equal to it is two it is two. So this is forty nine. So our correct answer is what D. So 
again to listen the question sum of the three parts is given to 387 okay and this three part of seven one fifth of the first part so this is five one half of the second part that is y by two and one fourth of the third part z by four is equal to this k so x will be five k two k and four k in this way sum is given two three eight seven so k is what two one seven now we have to find three times the first part is what five times so five x and three times the second three y and four times four parts of z that is the four z so now k x is what x equal to five k so this is five k y two k and z four k this is twenty five k six k sixteen k forty seven k so this is your right answer so now you see seven seven to forty unit this it will be nine here unit four not possible here unit two not possible for only d option is possible so no need to multiply it is only right answer it is easy you can solve this question by directly also how only you will see if this is given what so this is given one fifth so this is a fifth five here given one half this is two and here given one fourth this is four so five four two so five plus four plus two eleven Just to divide this number by eleven, you will get two one seven. Okay, now it is two one seven. So now you see this is the five k. So five in five k into five twenty five. Again here this is a half that is the two k. So that is two k is given. So three times of two that is the six k. Again there is given what that is four k and it is what four times the third. So four four the sixteen. So you can find this answer by one value also. Okay, so this is the first question. Now we see the second question. This is also very important question. Lot of placement exam and different different exam. This type of questions are generic. In a test, we twenty six questions. That means total question in a test are twenty six. Five points were deducted for each wrong answer. If there is only one wrong answer. Five points are deducted, that is minus, and eight points will be added for every correct answer. If your answer is correct, the eight number will be given, that is eight. So how many were how many were answered correctly if the score was zero? So for this type of question, what is the trick for finding the question? So first to see what is asked in the question. So ask what? How many more answered correctly? Suppose x answers are correct. So if he, if the student have given correct answer of x question, then he will get how much marks? For one correct answer, he is getting eight marks. So for x correct answer, C he or she will get eight marks. So that is x into eight. Again plus. Now in twenty six question he has solved eight x question correctly. So how many incorrect question? That is twenty six minus x is the incorrect question. So for one incorrect question he get how much? That is five points we are deducted. So this is minus five. Okay. So for five points we deducted for each wrong question. For one wrong question he is getting minus five. Okay, and this is given how much zero because he get a score of zero. So solve this expressions and your answer come eight x plus minus five into twenty six. So it will keep negative. So this is minus five six are thirty five two are ten and three one thirty. Again minus five into minus it that is positive. Five is equal to zero. So this is eight x plus two x five x. So this is what thirteen x equal to what one thirty. So this is x equal to what one thirty by thirty that is ten. So our question was how many questions are correct? So ten questions we are correct. Okay. So just you see what is the question. So question is that if you get twenty six question, if you solve one wrong answer, then you will get how much answer number minus five. 
because five points were deducted. And for the second question, if you do the correct answer, then you will get A. So in this type of question, first to find what the answer answered correctly. So X answered correctly, so you will get X into it. Now rest remaining question is how much? 26 minus. This is the wrong question. For wrong question is getting minus 1. So this solve 8x minus plus minus 5 into this. So plus into minus negative. So minus 130 and negative multiply negative always positive. So this is plus 13x. This is negative will go to the right positive. So x is 10. So this is the right answer.